What do you want? John's been telling me some interesting stories about you. John. Don't you know that what happens... That could Vegas? directly affect my case against Marcy McBain. Can we come in? It's really cold out here. Oh! Listen, I want you to know what a radical change of heart about your son's kidnapper could be Marcy's best bet against a conviction. So... So, uh... Is what John's saying true? Well, why would you ever doubt John? Look, I just put Sam down for a nap. What are they doing here? Your husband is thinking about speaking to the judge at Marcy's arraignment. Well, that's right. He wants to make sure she's prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Well, actually, according to John, he would like to go and ask for leniency for Marcy. Really? How's the, uh, how's the little guy doing? He's terrific. Can we get this over with? Todd, are you really considering going easy on Marcy? I would have thought the two of you had talked about this before. No, no, we've been too busy raising our third child and thinking about Marcy. Really? So the choice of whether or not to comply with the prosecution comes down to a time management issue? And why do you care? Because I have a case to prepare, and I've got the mayor watching it like a hawk to make sure that personal and professional lines don't get crossed again. Well, no, that's John's fault. And I take full responsibility. Look, when, uh, when Manning told me he was thinking about asking for leniency, of course I came to you. Is that right? Yeah, and I know I'm not a lawyer, but I would imagine if he doesn't cooperate with the prosecution, I mean, it doesn't really give your office a lot to do. Well, if Todd should decide to withdraw his complaint, then it certainly weakens our case. Of course, there's always Gigi Morosco. But talk about your hostile witnesses. Todd, you should know that your testimony could put Marcy away for the rest of her life, but I certainly would understand if now that you have your son back, you should suddenly demonstrate uncharacteristic humanity towards the woman who has sheltered your child for the first year and a half of his life. You know what? I would be very proud if you went easy on Marcy. I can't help but feel sorry for her. What are you going to do, man? That's about our kids' welfare. That's a big decision, isn't it? I am going to go check on your boy. my office doesn't have time for your little game so what is it that you're planning to do i don't know i guess i'll decide whenever i decide it's not this, okay i'm sorry do that will you uh -huh. don't ever drag me back to this house again understood goodbye thank you so much <laughs>